Let's talk for a minute about how you label phase diagrams. Now, a label, uh, a phase diagram like this I took from the internet and it was already labeled. So you'll notice lots of things. For example, they put the liquid up here. We know that it's temperature plotted against the atomic percent of tungsten. So this time it's not the weight fraction, it's the atomic or the mole percent. You've got pure boron over here, and then you've got tungsten over here. Now, when you label these things, they've drawn in some labels like this one. They've called this beta boron tungstate, right? And then they've got this one, BW2, but it's actually referring to this little region here in the middle, right? Then they draw a little arrow saying that the, this wall over here at 100%, that's pure tungsten, right? But they haven't labeled this region here. They haven't labeled this region here, or that one, or that one, or that one. This one right here is this phase. So what on earth is going on here? Well, there's some things that you do with labeling phase diagrams. The first rule and the most important thing is that you follow the 1-2-1-2 rule. Meaning that as you go left to right, right, at any given temperature, let's say you take this temperature slice and you go all the way across, you follow the 1-2-1-2-1 rule. So at the far left or the far right, we've got um, single phases, right? So right here, we know that this right there is a single phase. It's pure tungsten. And over here, we start out with pure liquid, so it's, it's also a single phase, right? So this is a 1, and that's a 1, right? So the next phase that this one touches is going to be a 2. This one's going to be a 2-phase region. That makes this a single-phase region, single-phase region, 2-phase region. Does that make sense? Now, we know that this one over here is a single phase because it's labeled as such. What if it wasn't labeled, right? How do you know what to do then? If, it's not, if this is not labeled for you already, how would you go about labeling this diagram? Well, again, start from up somewhere high and draw a line across, okay? Now, you know that this is going to be liquid up here. Even if it's not labeled, you know it's going to be liquid, okay, at the top of the phase diagram. So you know it's a single phase region. Therefore, the one right next to it must be a two-phase region. You can ignore this dotted line for now. Pretend that's not there. If that's two and you know that the end member is pure tungsten, then this must be, right at the end, a one-phase region, which is pure tungsten. Okay? So now that you know that, you know this whole wall here, this is all a, a single-phase region. Okay? So now you just work your way down. Pick, and pick another temperature. Pick this one right here. Let's go right there. See that slice? Well, we know that this is one right there, which makes this a two-phase region, which makes this a one-phase region, which is consistent with it being the liquid right there, which makes this two. Let me blow this up. This is a one, a two, a one, a two, a one, two, one. So you can go ahead and label it just using these flat lines, using the one, two, one, two rule, starting with the liquid at the top. Now. They've labeled these uh, formulas as well. They've said that this is BW2, whereas this is just BW, and here you've got B5W2. How did they know what those formulas were? We'll cover that in another video.